While coffee will always be my first love, after lunch my low caffeine tolerance has me drinking tea the rest of the day. For the tea routine, all you need is a tea kettle, hot water, and some tea leaves. Now your cup of tea will only be as good as the tea leaves used. This is why I prefer to brew loose leaf tea. Loose leaf tea contains higher grade tea leaves than the ones found in most tea bags. You sacrifice some convenience, but the end result will be a better cup of tea. Weekend mornings usually start with chamomile tea. Start by heating your water up. Temperature will vary based on the tea you brew. For herbal teas, 212 degrees Fahrenheit is the ideal infusion temperature. Next, measure out your tea. You will want to use one teaspoon of tea per cup of water. Tea is always better enjoyed with company, so I'll be using two teaspoons to brew two cups of tea. Once your water comes to a boil, the next step is to preheat your kettle. Pour some water into the kettle and swirl the water around to preheat the kettle. This will help ensure that our brewing water maintains ideal temperature while the tea infuses. Next, rinse your tea leaves. This will remove small tea particles and ready the tea for infusion. Dump your preheat water, then refill with your brewing water. Lower the tea into the water and set a timer for 5 minutes. Herbal teas don't contain any tea leaves and therefore lack tannic acids. The lack of tannic acids means that herbal teas do not become bitter, so don't worry about oversteeping. A hot cup of tea accompanied by fresh croissants and jam are my ideal way to start the weekend. The other tea I like to brew is peppermint tea. My fiance and I usually like to enjoy this tea after dinner to aid in digestion, but peppermint tea also makes a great sick day tea. For sick day tea, I'll start by preparing the peppermint tea the same as chamomile. Then I'll add in a few slices of ginger and a squeeze of lemon to infuse with the tea. Ginger will aid in reducing swollen sinuses and the lemon will help soothe sore throats. Let the tea finish brewing then finally add some honey for a great natural cough suppressant. I hope you enjoyed my tea routine. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.